Hi, are you okay? Right then, so these are quite nice, these ones, the limited received quantities. People get really caught up on it, but the idea is that eventually the term that I put in, which gives me the next term, so I've got to use a recurrence, it gives me the same number out, so eventually I get to a point where if I put this number in, it gives me the same number out, and that's what this is all about. So eventually you get the same number out. And that's what I call my limit. There. So it's not a sum of, it's the actual number becomes the same that I get out. So it's not the sum of it, it's not the sum to infinity. Right then, so what does it tell us then? So I've got this, this formula, but the next term is P times the one I've got plus Q. So U2... Is P times U1 plus Q. So U2 is 150, it's P times by 200 plus Q. So I've used this information to make an equation. But I could also say that U3 is P lots of U2 plus Q using this recurrence relationship in the blue box. So my 120 is P times 150 plus Q. So I can solve them simultaneously. So I've got like a, a 200P plus Q is 150 and 150P plus Q is 120. And if I do, if I solve them simultaneously, it gives me P is 3 fifths and Q is 30. So I've got a recurrence relationship, which is un plus 1 is 3 fifths of un plus 30. There. So that's my recurrence relationship. I found my values of p and q, and that's part a done. Part b then says, find the total. So as un, n tends to infinity is l, find the value of l. Now, this bit about it makes you think about sum to infinity, but it's not sum to infinity. It's just the number becomes the same. Right, so I've got this formula. And what I'm saying is that I get so far down this list that every term is the same number. So what I'm saying then is my next term is the same as the one before. And because that's the case, I'm going to call it L for limit. So I'm going to replace the L, or the UN plus 1 with an L. I'm going to place the UN with an L. And I get this. And people don't like doing this, but it's so simple, it just messes with the head a little bit. Right, so I've got one lot of L. If I take three fifths off, I've got two fifths of L left. If I multiply through by 5 over 2, is that going to give me about 1, uh, what's it, what's it, what's it, 150 divided by 2 is 75. Now you can actually do this in your calculator. I'm just going to pause it while I put the calculator in. Right then, I'm back. So let's think about this one. Let, let's start off with 30. So in my calculator, I'm going to put 30 in. So that could be my starting point. It actually works for any other number, really. And then I want it to pick up the recurrence thing, the three-fifths of the 30 plus 30. So I'm going to do 0 0.6 times ants plus 30. So it'll pick up that 30, and it works out 48. And then it will do it again now, if I press X again, but it will use the 48. So I'll do 0 0.6 times 48, and then if I do it again, so this is just my list of numbers that I get out, and do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and do it again, 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 do it again. Keep on pressing it. Look at that, look. Look at the value, because I said the limit is 75. There you go, 75. So it won't go past 75. So we tried with my day starting off with U1 as 200, didn't it? 
Oh, it's just the light. Oh, let's give it a go. So it's 300 point, no, point 0.6 times and it's plus 30. Let's give it a blast. Uh, look, so what's the zero? It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There we go. Yeah. So that's what it does. Simple. It's nice, isn't it? Well, I think it is anyway. <laughs> so there's one for you. There we go. People don't like it now because it's because it looks awkward. Uh, so we had un plus one was minus a quarter un plus six. And then just replace the un and the un plus one we're going to have. Right, let's have a look at example two, see if I've got enough time to do it in. Because uh, there is no example two in here. Oh, yes, there is. So a sequence defined by that, where pq are constants, first two terms given by, uh, and then the So I've got the, I've actually got the limit this time, haven't I? So what do I know? So from the information I've got, so I know that u2 is p, u1 plus q. So I know that 48 is 60p plus q. There. So what else do I know? I also know that the limit is 12. So I also know that if I put 12 in, so the limit, I also know from this bit that the limit is 12. So if I put 12 in, uh, I get 12 out. There. So I can solve them two simultaneously, can't I? So I've got 60p plus q is 48. So I'm going to solve these. I've got 12p plus q is 12. So that gives me p is 3 quarters and q is 3 if I solve it. So I know that un plus 1 is 3 quarters of p plus 3. There. Part b says find your third term. So u3 is 3 quarters of 48 plus 3. So what's that? 12, 36, 39? Yeah, why not? U3 is 39. And it's quite nice because you're just sort numbers in, aren't you? There's not much to it. Now I think there's one for you. Yeah, there you go. Same idea. So let you have a look at that. Have a go at it. And then we've got some consolidations questions to do. And that, hopefully, is the end of the lessons before the half term. Right, so well done everyone. Bye-bye.